Colorado has a very proud and long mining history. It runs from the early 1860s into the present day. In this series, I will do a show and tell like presentation on a few of the famous mines in Colorado, talking about them then and now, and important events that have happened in their timelines. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe. And if you would like to hear anything about any specific mine, please drop them in the comments. The Gold King Mine was discovered in 1887 by Olaf Arvid Nelson, the mighty Swede. He had been working at the nearby Samson Mine. Secretively, he located the original Gold King claim on the slopes of Bonita Peak in southwestern Colorado. He immediately went to work on it, eventually digging a 50-foot shaft and a 50-foot drift, but he never made money from it. Olaf eventually died of pneumonia in 1891, or perhaps of overwork, in his Howardsville home leaving a widow and six kids. The Gold King claim was patented, giving the title of the land to Luisia, Olaf's widow. In 1894, Luisia sold the Gold King claim to Northeastern capitalists, Cyrus W. Davis and Henry Soule for a mere $15,000. The mine flourished and was developed by crosscuts, drifts, and other openings forming seven levels of shafts, totaling 2,000 feet. The mine yielded more than 700,000 tons of gold and silver. Operations continued until 1907, when a fire destroyed the surface buildings of the mine. The mine reopened in 1910, but closed shortly thereafter because of litigation and labor problems. In 1918, a new company bought the mine, and it operated until the fall of 1922, shutting its tunnels forever. The Gold King Mine was destined to become one of 23,000 abandoned mines peppering the Colorado landscape. By the end of mining operations, many of the mines were left discharging contaminated water into streams. In 1991, the last big mine in the region, the Sunnyside Mine, stopped mining. Its owner, the Sunnyside Gold Corp, agreed not only to bulkhead its mine, but also clean up abandoned mines nearby while continuing to run the metal-laden waters of Upper Cement Creek through a water treatment facility. Then, on August 5, 2015, the EPA was investigating the abandoned Gold King mine. Heavy equipment disturbed loose material around the plug of the mine entrance, and acid mine drainage had built up behind the plug, which unexpectedly gave way due to water pressure in the tunnel, and a total of 3 million gallons of acid mine drainage dumped into Cement Creek. We're digging really high. Is he gonna go close it out? The Gold King mine spill occurred in the upper Colorado River Basin. This watershed includes six states, Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, and California, and 12 Native American tribes live along the tributaries. The Southern Ute Indian Tribe, the Navajo Nation, and the Ute Mountain Indian Tribe are some of the most well known. The acid mine drainage released in the spill contained a number of metals and salts totaling about 190 tons of solids, including several forms of toxic metals such as lead, iron, arsenic, mercury, and cadmium. These solids were mixed in with approximately 3,043,067 gallons of water. The volume of water in approximately nine football fields spread out at one foot deep. Immediately after the spill occurred, the EPA and other federal state agencies began working to control additional acid mine drainage and began making water quality measurements to evaluate impacts on the spill. 